So having failed recently at a visit to Lake and Heath, which you may have seen that video already, um, oh, something rustling in the bushes at the back of here. Anyway, as I say, having failed at Lake and Heath recently to find both the bearded ticks and the kingfishers, um, I've come to a place today which I've been to once before and is really well known for its kingfishers. That could be the kiss of death. I've said that, there might not be any around. But this is um, a Rye Meads RSPB site, which um, just outside London. And uh, the last time I came, they had a, a hide, which is a kingfisher hide. But since then they've built a brand new one. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, specifically set up for people to watch the kingfishers and for photography as well. So looking forward to having them go in there. So um, we've arrived this morning. There are a few other hides around as well, so we can have a look at those. But I think first of all, I'm gonna head down to the Kingfisher hide because it can get busy, I'm told. So I wanna get down there, hopefully while it's quiet still, uh, have a look in there, see if there's any Kingfishers around, and then maybe have a look around some of the other hides after that. Um, there's a, there's, there'll be other stuff wandering around, hopefully. It's not a massive place, I don't think, but I can't remember. I remember walking it before, but I don't remember how, how far it was. There's a river down the far side, so we can always have a look down the river as well. Um, yeah, it's pretty overcast today. Threatening uh, some showers possibly, but still quite nice temperatures, sort of early 20s, so you know, not a bad day for it. Um, so yeah, so this time I'm gonna get some kingfishers. That's what I think anyway. So let's go and have a look. Right, so we're just getting to the kingfisher hide. Let's go and whip inside. I can't think we're going to be able to vlog in there because I just think there's going to be too many people in there because even though they told me in the uh, visitor centre when I arrived it would be quiet, I don't think it will be to be honest from what I've seen. So, um, vlogging off, let's go and see what we can get.
well as expected it was pretty busy in the high there was just no way you were going to vlog in there um, you know it does seem that people are in there for the day so I've spent probably an hour and a half in there um, and it's just starting to fill up too much now so I thought I'd give it a give it a rest let somebody else have a go and uh, and drop out basically so but yeah we've seen the kingfishers the kingfishers around looking really tatty I mean in particular the male was looking very tatty to be honest um, I'm told they're on their third brood of uh, fledglings um, so I can understand why he's looking a bit worn um, but yeah great to see still um, would have nice to see them in better condition but still great to see there appeared to be a male and a female flying around didn't quite get the slow motion video that I wanted they were struggling they were too quick on and off the perches and they weren't fishing to be honest I mean they'd come in they'd sit on the perches but then they'd be straight off again so um, they didn't do any fishing any diving in there you could see from some of the images that it was quite scummy on the water although under some of the perches there was actually quite some quite clear water but they still didn't fish they're going off fishing somewhere else so I'm gonna have a little walk around see if I can spot them anywhere else uh, you can certainly hear them flying around that's the easiest thing but yeah I'm just gonna have a little walk around now have a look at some of the other hides and see what else is around just sitting here by the river beautiful little spot just sitting down by the river absolutely gorgeous so let's go and see what else is around and uh, hopefully we're gonna bring you a few more bits too So I've come down to now to what's called the warbler hide. I'm assuming that's because there are warblers around the area. Um, really nice. I mean, just been in the Kingfish Hub, so many people in there. And, you know, okay, I don't mind a little bit of chatter, but there's a lot of chatter going on. It is, it's not like sitting here with the wildlife. Um, down in here, there's nobody. I mean, just me. Me and the wildlife although i have to say there's not much out here at the moment um but yeah but this this looks like a great area it's, it's i can imagine i can imagine birds of prey barn owls all sorts out here probably later in the evening sort of thing um but a beautiful area you can see over the reed you've got a road over the far side which which okay spoils it a little bit but that's not too far away and hopefully you know you can't hear that um but there's all the reeds here and then it looks like they've actually cut down some of the reeds in certain areas so presumably that would help some of the um, some of the birds of prey when they're hunting and that sort of thing um, but I can imagine potentially marsh harriers all that sort of stuff around here um, so yeah I think I'm just going to chill out for a little while in here have a drink something to eat and just enjoy the peace and quiet for a minute Well, there's not much going on out here but we see a few warblers just dotted around but they're just dropping straight into the reeds so we can't get to see them very easy i don't know if you can hear it, there's something on the roof i think it's probably a wood pigeon or something like that but uh, it's a tin roof on this hide so it it is quite loud really um 
Yeah, I've just been sitting, just having a little look through the uh, photos I took of the Kingfisher hide. And I mean, my thoughts on it are, yes, if you haven't seen a Kingfisher close up, it's a great place to come. But if you're a wildlife photographer, it's really nice to capture them in, dare I say, a more natural environment. I mean, there is a, a man-made nesting site in the outside the hide there there are posts there specifically for the kingfisher and yeah it is great to capture a few images and I'm not complaining don't get me wrong it's great to capture a few images but it's not like the challenge of being down a river bank finding them just you know flying up and down the river perching in certain places it's not the same as that sort of challenge you know but as I say I'm not complaining it's really nice to see and great to watch them and they are beautiful birds as I say probably a little bit better condition would have been nice but um, yeah we can't have everything but it, it was just too busy for me you know it is it is very commercialized um, but yeah it is what it is at the end of the day as I say if you've never seen a kingfisher and you want to see a kingfisher great place to come and you're I would say almost guaranteed to see a kingfisher. So quick look at the uh, the map. Um, I think we're going to head towards the Gadwell hide and the Turn hide, which is sort of where the kingfish hides was. It's out the front of there, so over the other lake. So when the kingfishers were disappearing over that way, potentially they were going into that lake to fish. I don't know. I, I don't know whether you'll see them close up in there, but probably gonna have a look in the Gadwell hide and have a look because it might be we'll spot them from there but hopefully we can see some other stuff so let's go and have a look in there So we're in the last of the hides now, which I think is the uh, Draper hide. I've actually put um, some kingfisher um, nesting holes in the wall on this lake as well. A little bit further away than on the, where the main kingfisher hub is, but there's also a kingfisher post in the middle of the lake. So I mean, that could be quite nice. Uh, you're a bit higher up here, so you've not got such a good level to the birds to, to get the photos. But yeah, it'd be nice to see. Um, haven't heard anything or seen anything but people have said they do occasionally come onto this lake as well again a lot of waterfowl there's grey heron over here um, as well um, other than that nothing too exciting from what I can see um, but yeah so I think that's it so I think that's it for um, RSPB uh, Rye Meads uh, a great little spot yeah and and now people come here for the Kingfisher Hub, but there's plenty more to see around as well. So, a nice little place to walk around. Uh, you don't know what you're going to see. I can see a little um, 
tired wagtail wandering around the shoreline there as well. Um, so yeah, definitely worth a visit. Um, but that's it. I'm now going to head off. Um, thanks for watching. Whatever you're doing, have a great day, and I'll catch up with you again soon. Bye for now.